let's start with the Duke Blue Devils. And, and we, I, I said two ways to do this, okay? So there's two options. One is your swing for the fences guy, and then your, your realistic pick. So you're the athletic director at Duke. You're Kevin White, and Coach K retires at the end of this season. Rob, who are you swinging for the fences to try to get? All right, this is kind of a weird answer, but I don't think that they have a swing for the fence guy because I think it, they limit, they're going to limit themselves to all Duke people. Okay. And when I look at that, like Mike Bray, he's not he's not leaving Notre Dame at this point. Chris Collins, if he starts winning at a high level again, he could be a good choice. But for the last two years, no. Wojo at Marquette, Johnny Dawkins, Tommy Am like I don't necessarily know if there is a swing for the fence guy. My actual like realistic hire, I went Bobby Hurley. That might be a totally stupid answer, but that, that's kind of what I kept coming back to. All right. Um, Borzella. So I agree that there's really no real swing for the fences guy. I do think they might lob a call. And, and I know this is going to be – this is this might be the swing for the fences guy for everyone. But I do think they would lob a call into Brad Stevens. I thought we weren't allowed to use him. You, we never said that. You <laughs> asked. You got no answer. <laughs> you got no answer. Um, so I think they would at least call him. Um, my hire, I think, would be Jeff Capel. Um, you know, I went through the same names that, that, that Robbie did, but I think the thing about Capel is that I think he's proven he can recruit the kind of caliber of players that Duke has kind of relied on the last, whatever yep. decade yep. or so. And I think, I mean, I just think that if he gets there, he could probably recruit better than right now. I think he could recruit better than Wojo or Chris Collins or, or Amica or any of those guys. So I, I think I would go with him, but I mean, it kind of depends on on when it happens. I mean, if you were do, to do it today, you might say, "Hey, Chris Collins is going to get it." So I did. I kind of think it happened. You know, it depends how Wojo and Collins and Capel and Hurley and all those guys do over the next couple of years. All right, I got a good swing for the fences, guy. Oh God, here we go. I do. I really do. What the hype? Surprised neither one of you came up with this one. Probably not going to get him. Um, and he was run out of college. There's your hint. Um, but he is a former Dukey. And he is a head coach in the NBA, and he's done a hard job. Quinn Snyder. Quinn Snyder. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a bad answer. Why? <laughs> I like. I mean, I, I like that it's outside the box. I, I like that it's a swing for the fences. You had no swing for the fences, guys. I really want to recruit eighteen year olds when I can coach the, the Utah Jazz and make three million dollars a year. I'm not saying it, it. Listen, all I'll say is I've heard there's some friction. Yes, I got this really good answer. There's some <laughs> friction. There's a little friction going on in the in the Utah Jazz uh, management. Or you know, he can get uh, another NBA work. job. He, he can get another NBA job if he, he got can. fired. He can again. I like the I like the idea. Though. I like the name. It's outside the box. It's like worth the call. You're probably not going to get him. You got a better chance of getting Quinn Snyder than you do Brad Stevens. Well, probably, sure. maybe. Right. I, don't, I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, all right. I go Quinn Snyder, and then. One of you, you mentioned Borzella, one of Bobby Hurley or Chris Collins. Hurley, I think, would embrace it. That's the difference. I think he would actually say, you know what? I want this effing job. I'm going I'm to follow Coach K. I'm going to get it done. Um, where Chris he Collins is no he gets, part of it. He gets teed up too much. Yeah, but he'd fight. I mean, he'd fight. That's what they wanted, Duke. So uh, one of those two guys.